The National Episcopal Conference of Congo has suspended its participation in the national dialogue called by President Joseph Kabila. The influential Catholic Church says it had opted out of the dialogue following the deadly events of the past two days in the country. The Church has yet to state when they will return to the dialogue. It also reiterated its stand that President Kabila should not be eligible to contest in the next elections whenever they are due to be held. Reactions have increased across the world since the start of violence that left 17 dead. The United States and the European the European Union have threatened sanctions against Congolese authorities. UN Secretary General on Monday demanded that the opposition and the government exercise more restraint for the safety of civilians. Earlier, we spoke to William Close, a freelance journalist in Kinshasa, about the situation across the country. Here's what he had to say. The move by the Catholic bishops um, is very significant because... Um, they were supporting, uh, against uh, expectation, the uh, dialogue organized by the president between the opposition and his supporters uh, in an effort to find a sort of peaceful route out of, uh, out of this uh, constitutional impasse um, in order to pick a date for peaceful and credible elections. Most of the opposition parties have boycotted this uh, attempt at a, at a bipartisan forum, so the um, participation of the bishops who are of the Catholic Church, who are well known to be uh, to not favour Kabila and to want the president to step down, uh, was hugely important to the credibility of the process. And their suspension of participation yesterday on the grounds, uh, on a several grounds, because one, uh, out of respect for the, the victims of the last two days of fighting, and two, because um, they are they say that no. They will not accept any accord that does not have the president committing to stepping down and not participating in the next election. So with their departure from the process, uh, the dialogue has lost a lot of its credibility. Uh, the violence uh, continued through Monday into Monday night and into Tuesday. But uh, by uh, mid, early to mid-afternoon on Tuesday, a sort of tense calm had re been restored to the city. And that, uh, that calm has endured overnight and into this morning. Um, you, it is possible to travel uh, freely, relatively freely, around the city again. Uh, there is obviously a sort of um, higher visibility of uh, soldiers and policemen on the streets. Uh, and there are burnt down buildings, there are burnt out cars, uh, there are um, debris, signs of, of fighting. Uh, but the city has uh, returned to a sort of normalcy. Freelance journalist William Clue speaking to us earlier from Kinshasa.